All right, as it seems like a whole bunch of this stuff has never been removed before. Going to WD-40, pretty much everything. Now these hoses have to come out, a little bit of lubrication and get them out. It's not the worst idea. I need to get the math out. That's going to be important. This fell out. Too big. It's good to have a variety of tools to help you. Yeah, that doesn't work at all. Hmm. Should have put a trap on it. There we go. See. Using WD 40. This really helps. I need mean, a place for all these little fellows. This is my airbox air filter. Put that to the side. I'm gonna keep this for all my bolts. I'll keep you over here. Actually, I'm gonna put a little math in there to be perfectly honest. If I wasn't organized, I'd have more shit. But I'm not. So we're going to take these little guys out. And like I said, keep in mind, I didn't look at the instructions, which are on eBay. But, uh, eh, I'm sure this has to come out. Okay, so I'll take these little two fellas, put them in my box. I'm going to drop my water. That's cool, too. All right, so we'll take our math out. I'm going to come back and clean this at some point. Honestly, this looks very good, but I'm going to come back and clean this at some point. So now that's disconnected. I'm going to disconnect these guys over here. Honestly, I probably don't need them. I'm just going to disconnect that hose over there. Then I'm going to take this off. I'm going to come back to the instructions to see what I did or didn't do wrong. But really, I just want to get this mouse nest thing out of my way because it's disgusting. So we're taking out our hose clamp over here, and this is all vacuum lines over here that look to be in decent shape, honestly. So, so if you were in here and these were cracked and whatnot, you might want to get, get them changed, because you can tell over here this is all cracked. Like all that. This is going to cause vacuum leaks, and the car's not going to run right. Honestly, I'm surprised how well it runs, considering, because there's cracks all up in this. This is your main intake hose right here. That's not very good. Okay, I'm trying to one-hand this. Take out my filter, which is covered in mouse. It's disgusting. All this mouse stuff is going to go in the garbage. I got this car really cheap, because apparently it's a... Well, it's a mouse's house, <laughs> as it turns out. <laughs> So I'm going to take this out. It's clearly stuck on something. A vacuum line. There's a little vacuum line over here. It's on the actual airbox itself. I'm just going to... Ah, that's stuck on there. Okay. Get your WD-40. Loosened up. I can let that sit. Let that loosen up. So in the meantime, I'm gonna get this out. This is disgusting. So WD-40 on one, two, three bolts here. Because I mean, if you were gonna reuse this, obviously that's disgusting. But if you were gonna reuse it, um, you want to clean it. And now, I'm just going to pull it out. I'll try to reverse engineer this kit. If the kit's good, I'll, put, I'll drop one again. In. If it's not good, well, I'm just going to blow up the car. So, that's fine too. And because this is a Japanese car, I'm going to assume that the bolts are 10 millimeters. So, it could be wrong. Let's see. 
if I know anything. Success. It's a 10. I'll do this one-handed, like an idiot. So you want to get extensions, or you just want to use one extension on this, really, because you can tell this one's at an angle. You don't want to drop anything. This one's got a hose blocking it, and that one's just a little bit lower. And this is one-handed, real stupid. <laughs> real stupid. <laughs> It's gonna break. All right, let me take these all. I'll get back in. It's gonna take long. All right, all. So as you can see, I took off the intake tube. The air box is out in itself. Vacuum lines are out, secondary air injections out as well. I did try the eBay intake. It was terrible quality. So I'm gonna return it, so I'm gonna do now. Um, I've got a k and air filter. I'm gonna put that in the stock air box. I'm gonna reinstall the air box for now. I'm waiting for a replacement hose because my hose was really bad shape. So good that I got in here anyways. Um, hopefully I can get all my money back on the return of that eBay part. But in the meantime, what I'm going to do is clean up down here. You can see it's pretty dirty down in here. You know, while I'm in here, I might as well do some cleaning. So I'm going to clean this up. Put the bottom side, once this is cleaned, out back down in here. Put it in my air box. I'm sorry, I put it in my air filter. Uh, and then I'm going to wait to put it in my air box, math, and hose when the hose comes in tomorrow. So let me get started on that. So like I said, we're gonna start with some cleaning down here. Actually, I wanna make it real easy for yourself. You just, just WD-40. There we go, got a shop rag here. So just the wrong thing. So, WD forty does a really good job normally of cleaning all this kind of stuff up. I really don't want to be using it as frequently as I'm doing it, but in a pinch. Like I'd rather use a soap and water compound, but you can tell that's how it came out pretty clean. Just gotta clean the last side a little. Completely disgusting because if you don't remember from before, that's what was in there a mouse nest, a really gross mouse nest. All right, so I'm gonna fill this with water, just dump it over somewhere, and dis it's discreet. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna clean this up, and I'm gonna show you the reinstallation process. Alrighty, now that we have the bottom part of the air box back in. I'm going to put the bolts in. And we can tell the bolts are pretty rough. So ideally you probably want to replace these since we're not going to be replacing it. I'm just going to coat it in a little bit of WD-40. And we just sort of go in a little bit easier. 
rust to help with future rust. So I'll start with this one. If I can. That's my 10 millimeter socket. See, I got the air box in, got the bolts on, put WD 40, clean the inside of this. It's a can and filter. Just gonna do a set on this. My math that I pulled out. It's actually the math housing. So, what we're going to do put this fellow back on. Snap them all. One, two. Three. And there's four. Four. Alright, so that's snapped on. I'm gonna clean this off as well. I'm going to attach my math housing. I did take it off. Maybe attach my math, which I left somewhere around here. And yeah, I'm just gotta wait for the hose. Gotta get that connection back on. Vacuum lines, secondary air injection. Plug that back into the math side. And that's fine. We'll get back to you guys tomorrow. Hi all, so just to finish up the intake install over here, or really intake replacement. This is the old part. It's a new part from Amazon. I was replacing this. Because, well, it's an accordion. So, I'm going to change this. This is my old worm drive clamp. I have to transfer this over. I have a clamp over here. I believe this is for the secondary air injection. I have to transfer that over here as well. But, uh, with anything you get from Amazon, you want to test this out. So, I'm going to stick this on over here just to ensure this fits. And it feels good. I'm just going to install a couple of hoses. to me from what I can tell. Alright, so honestly it's probably easier to do the the secondary air injection first. Everything else looks a little more amenable. I'll take this off. I'll have to loosen it a little bit more. Transfer it over. So we're going to have to semi-install everything all at once. Change the order. That's smart. Alright all, so I'm going to transfer my hoses over. Oh, stand right there. Stand right there. Games you play when you buy parts on Amazon. See if things work or don't work. Because they're cheap. Maybe don't leave that screwdriver there. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. Hey, you okay? Yeah. Okay, that's gonna be in my way. And I'll have to cut that off. Actually, something that I noticed on this part that this doesn't have is this little nub over here. You're supposed to put a hose clamp over it, so that's not going to work, so I'm going to cut this off. It's got a similar one on this side, but as you can tell, this hose clamp will accommodate it. So that's fine. 
just helps it locate it better. Even though that screws up the orientation. Probably even took one there. I'm just gonna mock everything up on here. We gotta do our test fit. Try to keep your clamps a little on the tighter side when you're test fitting so stuff doesn't fall off. And make sure the orientation is correct as well. That'll help you. That's one. That's two. This side's on, this side's on. Just gotta connect these two guys. This will be probably my last step right here. It's just two vacuum lines. So I'm just gonna tighten this guy up. The air injection is the probably the most difficult one to work with. Like I said, you wanna keep your orientation for your screws just somewhere accessible for you. Definitely more helpful if you're able to access the uh, angle it towards you a little bit. Pull the clamps down if you can so they don't move around too much. Also, the screwdriver is not smart. Luckily with these one driven clamps you can use a bolt. Not that one obviously. Let's see if any of them work. Not this guy. Alright, I know what to do for my secondary injection. These you want to keep tight, but you really don't want to crimp them too hard because you really don't want to break these lines. Alright, so I've got my two flathead screws on the clamps on either side. Like I said, you got to keep it at an angle that's amenable to you doing this. Obviously it's easier if you want to use a socket on one of these. I'm just in a rush to go to Wegmans, it's not going to happen. Alright, let's tie it on one side. Got my second side here. And then all we got to do is get the vacuum lines on. There's one thing I missed on the vacuum lines. So you can see there's little hose clamps over here. got to get a... Another set of hose clamps on these, so I'm just going to pop these off once these two are secured. But really, these are the hardest to secure. These are soft lines, so you can move them about. These are much more rigid. Obviously, that's not moving anywhere. The air injection, that's a box over here, so that's not moving anywhere. All right, it's tight on this side, tight on this side. Like I said, i got to take these two guys off. Now, as this came with new plastic hardware in here, these guys, I could have used these and left them in, but these are new, so why not? So I'm just going to take two of these clamps, transfer them over here, get them on there. That is about it for these. I wouldn't normally use WD-40 if I can. If my lovely assistant can get me that, that'd be wonderful. Sure. Top? Yeah, WD-40, blue. Thank you. 
So to make life easy, you want to spray these guys a little bit. Just getting them on is just going to be so, so much easier. I'm going to get my clamps. to do this. Obviously it's easier just to go like this. Open up the clamp. This is where you can slightly get it in there. There we go. Want to try to get the hose to meet the end right here. So I'm going Take this cut off. This is where your WD 40 helps. It's farther down, see if this helps me. One side might be it. Doesn't seem to go any further. Try to take my clamp, put it right here. There'll be a mark for where the other one is from before. So as long as you cover this lip right here, you're fine. As you can tell, mine is on about here, which is there. It's easily covering this lip right here. So get another clamp. Grab this guy. Move up far back if I can. Just move this. There we go. That one went real easy. Not the guy. Mm, not so much. Line it up with our clamp right here. This is good. I'm just going to try this the second shot. Nope. Not happening. Good enough. Alright, so I'm going to double check everything's here. So it looks like everything's done now. So the airbox is here. It's all clamped, secured. Mass airflow, if the mass airflow is not in the plug or the actual sensor, it's not, it's just, it'll either run really badly or just not run at all. So this is in, this is in, these guys are here. Secondary air injection looks good on this side. I'm going to start it. If your idle speed is too high or too low, clearly you're going to have some kind of issue, but everything looks good on the front right now. I'm going to let the car warm up. I'm going to go for a test drive. If you guys have any questions about the parts I use, feel free to contact me. Thanks. Bye.